Ultimate Skin Care and Beauty Report, a Mary Wink and Warder. Making its presence as a specialized fashion niche for ladies everywhere who seek the finest in bridal trends for fashion, makeup, and of course hair, is Bridal Fashion Week. The haute couture in everything that is destined to permanently embed beautiful bridal memories for years to come has incredible talent like our guest on today's episode. Joining us on Ultimate Skin Care and Beauty Report is Megan Garmers to share with us the latest trends for Bridal Fashion Week. Megan, welcome to the show. Hi, Mary. It's good to have you on. Thank you for joining us. Of course. Thanks for having me. So, Megan, where was this particular Bridal Fashion Week held and when? Uh, Bridal Fashion Week in New York is held twice a year. Um, one is in the fall in October, and then one is in the spring in April. Fantastic. So what were some of the more popular hair trends for brides at the show? Um, you know, at on, on the different runways of the designers, a lot of the different styles really had to more of an unstructured look. Uh, so you have a lot of, uh, similar to what you'd see on uh, the red carpet. So if you watch the Golden Globes or uh, the Grammys, uh, or uh, if you watch the Oscars coming up, those are things that you're also going to see there as well because those trends do mirror each other. But a lot of romantic styles, a lot of um, undone, uh, very natural, organic looks, very young, fresh uh, hairstyles and makeup. That sounds beautiful. So, what are some of the hairstyles for bridesmaids trending for the spring? Are they much? Are they very similar to that of the bride, or do they take on a completely different persona? No, they really are very similar to the bride. Oftentimes, the bride will have a variety of different uh, ideas. But oftentimes, the bride will not have ideas as well, and it'll really allow bridesmaids to be able to choose whatever it is that's going to look best for them. Beautiful. So, of course, facial color can often be the crowning glory for any bridal look, taking it to a new height. How are makeup trends for brides and bridesmaids trending for spring 2013, and are the color stories in alignment with the mainstream fashion color stories coming up for the spring season? You know, they really are. Um, a lot of the brides now, and a lot of what we did on the runway, really had to do with a really pretty soft pink lip, um, a little bit of pop of color. Um, there were still some red lips, of course. Uh, the bold lip is still in. Uh, but usually it, it really comes down to a choice between uh, the eyes and the lips. So understanding which is going to be your focus and then playing that up, whether that's um, a little bit of a smoky eye or a false lash um, or adding a little bit more of a pop of color on the, on the lips. Um, that, and just a very nice, clean finish to the skin as well. But that's pretty much the, the makeup look for... Um, that was, that was for Bridal Fashion Week, but also what, you're, what you've been saying for New York Fashion Week, which is going on right now. Oh, fantastic. So we can't leave out men's grooming trends. What are some of the guys sporting with their uh, ensembles and facial hair or no facial hair, long or short hairstyles? You know, for guys, um, there was a Fashion Week that uh, just occurred in, uh, in London, which is really a lot of the male uh, designers uh, for men wear. Everything from uh, facial hair to no facial hair, well-groomed, um, the well-groomed man definitely uh, was on the runway. But in terms of men, it really comes down to personal preference. I feel like it is something that is definitely embraced in uh, the grooms and the groomsmen, uh, those parties. They, they do love to be able to make their own choices and not be told what to do or, or how to look. So. Oh, sure. <laughs> 
So when it comes to displaying tattoos or body art, how can brights balance the delicate and bold aspects of the two concepts? When it comes to tattoos, again, a lot of brides are really choosing to either display them or to cover them. Uh, the great thing is that depending on the dress, depending on the type of look, and also depending on the bride and her personal choices in, in regards to her family, how they how they view uh, tattoos or body art, um, it, it's a great place to be at where it really is their personal choice. A lot of brides are really showing them off and choose dresses to show off their body art. Others uh, choose their dresses and then kind of work around whatever body art they might have. And so whether that's covering it up for the ceremony, um, taking off the makeup and uh, having the tattoos revealed or shown at the reception, just so there's a little bit more personality and more personal uh, touch in that. They, in their beauty choices, they, they really kind of uh, choose to do whatever it is that's most comfortable for them. That's awesome. So in terms of cosmetic brands that will be front and forward for the many great looks that will roll out for spring bridal season, who will be front and forward? You know, there are a lot of great brands that have uh, some wonderful new uh, lines coming out. Alcon at Home is definitely one of them. Um, it's absolutely amazing. All professional gray brands. Um, it's actually now available to consumers, whereas before it wasn't. Um, a lot of things going on with, you know, both Tarte, uh, Bite Beauty, which has amazing uh, natural, organic food-grade ingredients in their products. And actually, one of my favorite things is that each product has as much resveratrol, the antioxidant, in it as five glasses of red wine. So you can really know that you're getting your, your daily dose and, and doing good to yourself while looking great as well. Uh, there are a lot of other brands, though. Makeup Forever is doing a new uh, Pro Finish powder, which is fantastic. I'm actually wearing it right now. Wow. Uh, and then, you know, there are, again, some other brands. Uh, Anastasia, uh, a lot of the brow uh, different products that you can use. Really, really great, and they work for everyone, um, every skin tone and skin color. And then and you have uh, other brands like um, like Paracone. You have Mac, obviously, and they're doing a lot of different things. So there's everything for everyone. You have darker colors, a lot of the plums and the greens. You also have some of the silvers and the grays. Um, you also have a lot of the lighter pastel colors, so some of the blues, some of the pinks, some of the greens um, that are on the lighter side. So if you're kind of afraid to go on the dark edge, <laughs> you want to stay on the light, you can. That's awesome. So, Megan, where can we catch up with you and MG Hair and Makeup online? Um, you can uh, visit our website, which is mghairandmakeup.com. You can also find us on Facebook, uh, which is facebook.com forward slash mghairandmakeup. Um, you can also find us on Twitter at mghairandmakeup. And then you can also uh, find us on I Look Beauty Book. So, ilookbeautybook.com, we have a Tumblr blog. Um, you can also find us on Facebook. Uh, so forward slash facebook.com forward slash I look beauty book, Twitter, um, Instagram. You can also find us on Instagram. Where we'll be posting a lot of uh, different things that we're doing throughout the day here at the show um, and a variety of other things that are, that are kind of going on in, in the fashion beauty world. That's fantastic. Well, we'll go ahead and let you go. It looks like you're, you're going into a show right now. Thanks so much for catching up with us, everyone. Thank you for joining us on Ultimate Skincare and Beauty Report. Catch up with me on my blog, www.beautyreport.com, -E on Twitter at Beauty Publicist, B E A U T E Publicist. Everyone, again, thanks so much for joining us on Ultimate Skincare and Beauty Report. Have a beautiful and successful week. Mwah. Mm -hmm.